fit here. Just a minute. Come on. Here. Scooter's jumping all over the place. Biting my toes. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Don't be biting my toes. Here. All right, look. Here's yours. Here's Scooter. Oh, my God. He's starving. He's starving. I'm going to take those chimes in. Because people don't like to hear them. Well, it's windy out. And we can't have the naysayers shooting off about the, the chimes. Well, just a minute. Here. Here, come in. Look. Here's yours. I'll put this in the house end of the road. There, all that noise gone and bothering the naysayers' ears. Yeah. Well, just a minute. Come on, come here. Come up. <laughs> what do you want? What? Are you hungry? You were? Well, just a minute. Oh my goodness, there goes Scooter. There's Sammy. Scooter's hungry tonight. He wasn't here last night. Were ya? She's just woofing them right down. Fresh water. I went to see that new uh, karate movie. What? What? <laughs> That's why he's called Scooter, because he scoots back and forth. <clears throat> I went to see that new karate movie today. And I stopped in the Cecil for supper. Uh, people were asking me, they're asking about what happened to Jungle Jims. All I'm going to say, they lost my patronage. So I switched restaurants, which is my choice. And, uh, the ones at the Thistles treat me really super well there, and uh, and I love it there, and I want to stick my stick stick it out there. And that's all I want to say about that. And I tipped very, very well, and they didn't appreciate it, so I said, well, I'll take my business elsewhere, so. Here, stand up. <laughs> so I got the trailer here. He's gone now. I got the trailer hooked up to the, the Jeep again, just in case it, uh, Alfie calls tomorrow and say my lawnmower is ready. I can go pick it up. But I gotta find out why the uh, here. I gotta find out why the uh, the warranty's not being honored. But it's not. It's not his fault. It's uh, the dealership is not paying paying him for doing the work. So I mean, I mean he gotta run a business too. So uh, I don't blame him for not. You know, not honoring honoring the warranty, but I should have went. I should have bought my tractor, at John Deere, and then there would have been no issues because they had their own garage and everything, looking after everything. I I kicked my rear end for not doing that. So here I got a brand new tractor, three year warranty, no good to me. So I have to. And he goes wrong. I got to pay up front for it. So, well, I had a car like that. I had. I bought a Hyundai Elantra. Uh, back in 2006, and every time I took it to the grass for something, the the, um, the warranty wasn't covered. Oh, it doesn't cover that. It doesn't cover this, and so I got so frustrated. I just said, "The heck with you guys." I took it to my own 
garage mechanic that I trusted at the time was Dwight Campbell, so I uh, I took it from there from now on, and and the company got a hold of me and said, oh, you're not doing your oil changes on time. I said, oh, yeah. I get them done when they have to be done at uh, Dwight Campbell's, and they said, uh, we're supposed to have it done at Hyundai. I said, why? Every time I walk in for an oil change, they find something wrong with the car. It cost me five, six hundred dollars. I said, uh, I'm down with you guys. Well, I never buy another Hyundai or or Subaru again. I'm done with them. So, but one thing with the Jeep dealer, uh, uh, so far so good. Uh, they're honoring the uh, warranty contracts and everything on it, and uh, I get free oil changes and you know tire rotation. So I'm pleased with them. So I got to make an appointment for the PT Cruiser to get uh, undercoating. <laughs> it's due. I, I have it done every year. There you go. How's that? Isn't that good? I want to put some dry food out here for these fellas. It's cold out tonight. And last night it was so hot. I had to have the, the uh, fans on, two fans on me in the bed last night, and here it is, 50 degrees. Last night it was uh, 75, I think, when I went to bed. Now, where are you at, Connor? Uh. Gotta keep an eye on him. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna put some uh, dry out. As you put a little line on both sides. I'll give him another, I'll give him a whole one. Here, Sammy. Sammy, here, look. I'll put the rest of uh, Eric's cookies out. These cookies are good. <laughs> I was eating here last night with the with the raccoons. What are you having? You want a cookie? Are you gonna? Well, you have your rat. You got your hot dogs there. You want a cookie? Huh? Anybody else coming? Yeah. Put the cookies out. There we go. I'll bring these hot dogs in. I'll just sit in the bench there for a minute. Oh my God! Come on. Okay. Well, is any more going to come or not? Um, I want to say happy birthday to Karen Fellman. <clears throat> I don't know where you're from, Karen, but you uh, you mentioned that it was your birthday today on the comments on YouTube, and I do read your comments. But it's hard to uh, apply uh, to reply to them all because when you got five, six hundred comments, it's uh, and plus you got the uh, Facebook you got to deal with. Thank God I don't have Instagram. <laughs> hey Sammy, what do you think, Sammy? That's a, a Sammy boy. Yeah, you good boy, Sammy. What are you doing? You have you had enough? You're all set? You want another one? Sammy. Oh, he's going. Are you going? Look. Here you go. 
There you go. He's getting his winter fur on now. There, he's away. So it won't be, uh, he's taking that home to have something to eat. So uh, we'll wait a little later for Ben and that, and uh, we'll come back on uh, when they show up. Okay, people, all right. And we'll just go in and say a hi and goodbye to Connor and Charla. There'll be more up tonight, because uh, now that it's cold, they'll be uh, gung-ho for eating now. All right, where are you fellows at? Well, there's one. Charlotte was Oh, there's Charlotte. Here he is. There we are. Charlotte and Connor. Listen. Hey. Say hi. <laughs> you want to say hi to your friends? Look. You want to say hi? Charlotte? Connor? Don't you hit her. You're a bully. Yes, you are. Connor Cast. You're a bully. <laughs> Charlotte. Charlotte. You're just a girl. She's just a girl, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, I gotta start using that popcorn machine. I only used it twice. It makes good popcorn. So, anyway. What do you think, Connor? Connor Cat! Have we got the dishes done? Hey! Connor Cat! <laughs> he was going to. You were going to lick her, weren't you? Yeah. What do you think, Charlotte? You good girl. Are you a good girl? I still haven't got to, I still got to get that little knot out of the top of her fur. It's right here. And every time I pick up a pair of scissors, she takes off. She's you don't like me touching it. Where's those scissors at? Where's those scissors at? Huh? You gonna pose? Are you gonna pose, are you? Are you posing? Yeah. There's some of the postcards I got. Uh, I got what this I have these kind here. Not many left. And this is the uh, the big eight by ten I had of me getting mobbed. I don't think that's gonna happen again. Not not we don't have enough raccoon. We had a lot of babies that summer. But you know, I get 12 raccoons and that's the average I get every year, but last year was a very unusual year. Wasn't it, Charlotte? Are you gonna let me take that little top off you? Are you? Are you gonna let me touch it? All right. Charlotte. Charlotte. And we know when you pet her, she drools. Yeah, she does a lot of drooling. Don't you? Yeah. She's a good girl. She's a good girl, aren't you? You're just a girly girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to be petted, too. He has to have his petting, too. Yes. Your daddy's boy. Your daddy's boy, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, if the crowd comes out, um, we'll crack at her again, okay? Talk to you later, folks. Bye-bye.